So let's create the database and to do that we will use the migration. So let's go to tools, NuGet package manager and from there choose package manager console. And to add the migration we'll simply use the command add dash migration and then the name of the migration. And this is the first migration we are doing so I'll just call it initial and just press enter. And our migration was created, it wasn't applied yet, but let's examine what we are getting here. And you can see that it will create a table called bands and it will have ID, name, founded and main genre. And also it will create albums and notice that it will have the properties that we set for it as well as the primary key for the album ID, but also foreign key which is the band ID that we set up. So this way it will set up the one-to-many relationship between the albums and the band. And here we will insert some data. These are the data that we set in our seeding method. So you can see everything is ready. And to apply the migration, the command for it is simply update database. and just press enter. And you can see it's creating the database and everything is done. The migration was successful because we did not get any error messages. So let's view what we have here. I'll go to view and then SQL Server Object Explorer. Let's open our local DB here and the databases and we have a database called band album db right here. So let's open the tables and you can see we have two tables albums and bands. These are our db sets that we set up in the services. So when I right click albums and view data you can see here are some of the data that we seeded. We have the id, title, description and band id. So everything was seeded properly there. Let's view the data for the bands and again we have five bands just as I added them into the seeding script. So this way we have this database set up and it will be set up this way each time I run the application. So we will have like I said the same set of data to work with. So now we are finally ready to start creating our API because so far this was just the plumbing. This was basically just creating the database and the queries that will be used in order to get the data from the database. But we did not actually do anything with API yet. But that is about to change now because we are now ready to start creating our API. So let's do it.